Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back under the video from Totally Not Mark. I really, really enjoyed the redrawing Dragon Ball Super's new movie, like the 3D, 2D thing, and then drawing um, stills from the trailer for the new movie into like old Dragon Ball styles. And I realised that like I totally missed the part two, uh, and I really enjoyed part one. So I want to see, I want to see more of it. So let's check out the second part, shall we? Last week we transformed the artwork of Dragon Ball Super superhero, and this week. We and it was class. I really enjoyed it. It was really nice. See all the art Today, styles apart like, from, from the past. Of pain and suffering to make these videos possible, we'll also be drawing in the styles of Yuya Takahashi and Naotoshi Shida to name Cool. And what's more is, I have a little announcement to make. In addition to the video you're about to watch now, earlier this week I reached out to numerous professional animators that have and work for Toy Animation to see if they'd oh. like to give these redraws wow. themselves. And they responded. Which means next week, professional toy animation animators will be redrawing some of the stills from these trailers in your favorite art styles. Oh, now, sick. Everyone on the team is very excited for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super superhero film. I'm really excited to see it. Way of showing that excitement. I can't wait to share it with you all. It's out in now, England in August. Got Last booked time off. I asked you guys to send us suggestions, and suggestions you most definitely sent us. One of the most popular ones sent our way was this image of Piccolo charging his special beam. Cool, and let's see. Choose your player. Okay, awesome. Alright, let's go. I love Piccolo, and you know what? I want to redeem myself from last week's struggle, so I'm going to draw this in the crazy detail style of Masaki Sato. Okay, cool. And you know what? This one was actually alright. Now, in saying that, as I mentioned last week, Masaki Sato is known for his rugged, detailed, and specific style that colored a lot of early mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z. But to be honest, I don't mind spending more time drawing details when I know the result is going to be worth it. Hell yeah. Last time it felt like I was really spinning my wheels, but this week I had some really nice references, particularly from the Dragon Ball Z films, as well as this. Oh, okay, that's cool, yeah. A close up of Piccolo's face. You might have also noticed that at this point, I went to the trouble of drawing all the lines of Piccolo's arms. Oh this my god. And we've got a bit of a veiny head as well. <laughs> <laughs> I said Order that, Jesus. Whoa. Yeah, it is a bit weird. Whoa! That looks sick! Ooh, looking good! I think the 3D looks pretty slick, man. I'm looking forward to this movie. Let's go. For those of you that don't know, Yuya Takahashi is one of the most prolific action animators of the modern era, producing some of the craziest sequences from both Dragon Ball Super and the Dragon Ball Super Broly film. Yes, like sick, yeah, yeah. With many of the drawings we're doing in this video, there are no Broly movies so good, but... <laughs> frames necessarily, just different approaches taken. As you can see with this redraw, most of the changes Trev implements are really stylistic more than anything. Reforming the face to be more in line with a more traditional approach, while keeping the anatomy largely the same. If the trailers are any indication to go by, the film itself looks fantastic. It does look and great. It does look really, really good. I'm really, really excited. CGI can be at times with anime productions. Ugh, oh, Berserk. I'm so glad I'm manga only on Berserk, man. When I say that these colors on Beerus' world in the trailers honestly look stunning, which is why we kept them. The pink and purple hues really add to the CGI renders as well as the 2D. It does really go with it. Oh mate. Using the pixel thick anti brush, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that cool. That is so good. Okay. It's going to be interesting to see Gama drawn in the old style, because we're, we're very used to seeing the old characters obviously drawn in that way. This is going to look interesting seeing a character that's not been drawn in these styles before. 
shoot to this, Nunky Tante, despite Dragon Ball Super's notoriously brutal schedule, consistently delivered some of the best movement during Hell the yeah, did. run. However, this is very much a taste thing in this instance. Some folks don't care as much about movement and why hmm. the correctness above all else. Personally, I love Tate's style, and I think AJ is killing it with his drawing. The rounder jaws, interesting mouth shapes, as well as the blobby round shading all pull their weight in oh, wow, the Tate picture. But as we mentioned with Trev's Vegeta, it's only half the battle as mix is needed to apply the filters and effects. Oh. So let's see how they look once they're Oh, this, this is going to look cool, man. Whoa! That looks sick. Where you sit in the fence with regards to Noki Tate, AJ drew something truly brilliant. That looks class. Absolutely class. Something this video needs more of, however, is pain. And I'm willing to supply that as next is the drawing of Goten and Trunks as young adults. Interesting. Because I don't think we've seen them. Sure. Because we saw Trunks older in G I suppose you would have to use GT, yeah. I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Right, okay, I see. That would make you think it if that majority is that way. That's interesting. <laughs> Looking cool. Looking very cool. Oh cool, let's get some pan. Look at that. Again, Pan's not been drawn in many of these styles. Oh wow, yeah, that's really cool. Every sense of the word was emblematic of Toriyama's modern designs into one that was faithful to the original symbol of Cool. Now all we have to do is Let's have a look. One, two, three. I think every time I look at this it gets better and more authentic looking. Yeah. Looks very old school Dragon Ball style. Oh, this is gonna be boss. All right, let's go. These two honestly look like they'll start up the film as antagonists, but by the end will be unlikely allies against whatever the big bad will end up being. Mm. But because I love Masaki Sato's angular style, I decided to Oh, wow, this is looking awesome already. Jeez. Junior and Piccolo to see what sort of angular concoction. Ah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. I think I like following these older design philosophies as the style these fellows were conceptualized in was that of modern Toriyama. Thinner, lankier features with softer, rounder shapes. They look great, but I think part of what makes these sorts of videos Whoa, this is looking absolutely boss. Sato's angular, sharper style in Z makes for the perfect contrast to these modern Toriyama characters. And surprisingly, this one out of all the drawings this week was the easiest to draw for me. The absence of a yeah. nose was troubling, but I looked at Janemba to see how the character... Oh yeah, there's, there's some good reference there, yeah. Janemba image sourced the colours that helped bring this image to completion. This was a totally painless and, dare I say, fun enterprise. Cool. Now, 
there you have it. Some old time Gamma number one and Gamma number two ready to cause all sorts of trouble for that the looks class. Fighters. Absolutely the class, man. The most requested. This six shot of ultimate Gohan. And drawing this will be Tread in the style of Yuya Takahashi. Let's go. The trouble with Tread's drawings is that they are often over in the blink of an eye. When it comes to uh, the variety of Dragon Ball art styles, Trev seems to have them down packed. Oftentimes, when someone begins drawing a Dragon Ball character, they do so with the face. Ooh. I mean, I'm guilty of this. However, when it comes to drawing anything for Trev, good fundamentals are key. And Trev starts all of these off with a solid base sketch layer to make sure the construction is how he wants Fair. it. From there, yeah, everyone does their own thing. Build this character design and structure off of each subsequent layer. Applying Takahashi style idiosyncrasies as he progresses towards the finished product. Sharp, angular eyes with a great sense of intensity. Adjusting the size and positioning of different muscle groups and body features as he goes to ensure a faithful result to the inspiration itself. Looking good. With shading playing a large part in what helps Takahashi stand Yo, out. Yeah, the damage to the clothing and everything, cool. Shading philosophy, and now all Trev has to do is line it with the anti-aliasing pixel brush and he's done. Mix, time to add that filter. One, two, three. This is awesome. Whoa! Work too, by adding your own effects work to it, it looks awesome. That's amazing. This next segment coming up is going to be a little different. We had a lot of drawings to do this week, and I wanted to keep this video relatively short. You guys suggested we redo some of the promo material for the film itself, so for this segment, we will be drawing this image of Goku, this image of Hot Pepper Vegeta, huh? and this promo image of Goten and Trunks. Cool. The artists to draw them will be Trev, myself, and editor San, respectively. Let's go. First up is Trev with his style is delicate and subtle but a wonderful one to work with for the purposes of animation god these guys are so talented <laughs> it's gonna be really cool to see like professional animators like being involved as well from Toei like whoa what a cool idea what a really cool idea for a video and I will be drawing in the style of Minoru Maeda during the time of the Saiyan saga Minoru Maeda was the character designer for the series and this was where I took most of my references from I wanted to make sure I nailed his white set shoulders and for color I even decided to go that extra mile and try to mimic his border Hell yeah. Whoa. Attacking this promo of Goten and Trunks, we have Editor Sand in the style of Modern Toriyama. Modern Toriyama is a tricky one to get right, at least for me. And Toriyama has a very particular way of drawing characters. Those of you that are unfamiliar with the Kanzen Band, this was a printed re release of the original Dragon Ball manga, which featured new Toriyama artwork on the respective colors, oh, okay. which is exactly what Editor Sand was going for with this one. Awesome work. That look looks at that great. All right, so this brings us to the final image we will be drawing this week and for that we wanted to make it special the image in question is this action shot of gohan throwing his elbows towards the camera and trev will be the artist drawing. let's go the style of none other than the iconic Natoshi shida Natoshi shida has been an animator on dragon ball for decades like many other prominent animators like naoki tate masahiro shimanuki and tadayoshi yamamuro Natoshi shida cut his teeth with the original series before becoming one of the most highly regarded action animators to have worked on Dragon Ball ever. Jesus. He's responsible for some of the most mind-bending scenes from Battle of Gods, the Dragon Ball Super series, and indeed, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Broly. Yeah. With his signature style utilizing a ton of extreme angles, camera shakes, strong posing, and of course, sharp and detailed shapes yeah, to well, okay, cool. fly off of the page. Once again, the basic structure for the most part with this 3D-based structure was a great jumping off point and gave Trev the freedom to dive into the style of Shida without delay. There's a sort of kinetic intensity to his style, and I genuinely think Trev absolutely nailed this one. All we have to do is apply Mix's filter to it. One, two, three. Wow. Mate. That genuinely looks like something straight from the anime. Or it does. Dragon Ball Super Broly. Incredible That's work, class. Trev, absolutely class. Work to everyone who worked on these last two videos. Next week, professional animators that work for Toei will be joining us to help so bring cool. the screen into the 2D world. Hope you will join us for that very special video. If you don't want to miss it, be sure to like and subscribe. But until then, I've been totally not Mark. I'll see you all next weekend. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm definitely going to check that out when that comes out. That's cool because I can't believe I didn't check this out. So then I'll check that out. And what I'll do is if it comes out, uh, I'll do a, like a some. I'll react to something in between. I don't like uploading like. Same channel stuff to have today. But that was really cool. I really like that. They're so talented and it's going to be really interesting to see the Toei animators um, do that. So, awesome. We'll check that out um, when that's out.
Until then, thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video upload, links in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask to help support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for that. And thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you want to leave comments down below. Let me know what you're watching and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys, all you guys, next time.